guys here another quick video uh, on the circulatory shunts of the uh, baby inside the womb when the baby of course is developing um, there are some different circulatory pathways and these are the three uh, differences in the circulatory system of the baby now there's two organ systems essentially or organs that are bypassed and it is going to be the lungs and the liver. And it, and it kind of makes sense, right, that the lungs are going to be bypassed because the baby's inside the womb uh, and inside the amnion, right, which is a sac filled with amniotic fluid. The baby's floating in the fluid and the baby's basically, for lack of a better term, breathing the fluid. The fluid's going through the baby's lungs. The baby is not breathing air yet, okay? so. There is blood going through the lungs, but not all of the normal amounts of blood that would go through our lungs is passing through the baby's lungs. There is a lot of the blood flow is being bypassed around the lungs. The lungs basically don't need the extra blood flow, okay? So what are the two bypasses or shunts in the circulatory system for the lungs? It's gonna be one called the foramen ovale, and one called the ductus arteriosus, both of which are bypasses for the lungs, okay? This one basically, and if you think about it, and, and, and we have another video you might want to watch on blood flow through the heart to just kind of see where everything goes, but of course, the, the right side of the heart is going to send blood to the lungs. So basically what's happening is both of these, in a nutshell, are sending right sided blood not to the lungs, because we said we're going to bypass them, it's sending it back to the left side of the heart. This one sends right-sided blood back to the aorta, okay, which is basically going to um, the left side of the heart, right, because the aorta leaves the left side of the heart. This one is simply doing just that. It's sending right-sided blood to the left side of the heart. So it's literally going literally from the right atrium to the left atrium. So any way you look at it, and this is probably the easiest way to think about it is, both of these are sending right-sided blood to the left side of the heart. And in doing so, skipping the whole step of going to the lungs, okay? The third one here is eh, kind of doing the same thing, but it's bypassing the liver. It's basically a big uh, vessel that is just going right past the liver, okay? It's not going into the liver. And again, you gotta remember that the mother is doing a lot of the detoxification uh, for the baby uh, rather than the baby's own liver doing it and explains one of the reasons why jaundice sets in as a baby's getting ready to be born the liver really isn't uh, doing all of the, of, the, of the work so to speak that it should be doing and basically there is some liver backup once the baby's born the bowels start moving the liver starts working you know the, the baby system starts purging the jaundice starts dying down going away. So these are the three bypasses, two for the lungs, one for the liver. What do they become? When the baby's born, these are all going to shut, right? They're going to literally, the ductus arteriosus and the ductus venosus are going to basically become connective tissue. They're going to become ligamentous and just close up. They're going to fibrose, right? The foramen ovale is going to shut. It's literally a flap that shuts. And really that flap is held in place with blood pressure from, from the heart. So the foramen ovale is going to be a flap that shuts, or it's going to shut, and we refer to it then as the fossa ovalis. So there should be no, once the baby's born, no hole between right and left sides of the heart. Okay, this would be within the interatrial septum. So that again will be a flap that closes and stays closed for the rest of a person's life. Again, we refer to it as the fossa ovalis. Same thing here is slightly different. The ductus arteriosus will become the ligamentum arteriosus. So it's just gonna fibrose over with connective tissue. Same with this one. Ductus venosus becomes the ligamentum venosum. Again, fibrose over with connective tissue. So there you go. Quick rundown on the circulatory shunts. Till next time, good luck, good study.